I first came to exploring ballet with Suzanne Farrell in 1999. I think I was 15. I attended the program for four summers and then joined the company when I was uh, 18. I don't remember a time when I didn't want to be a ballet dancer. I have two older sisters and they both took dance lessons and I used to sneak into their classes when I was younger and stand inside the door and then when the teacher wasn't looking I'd join in with everybody else. So I always wanted to be at the dance school. I wanted to be there more than anywhere else. Being a ballet dancer isn't about getting out on stage once or one time and having one performance. It's really a culmination of everything you've experienced in your life and every time you go out on stage, all your previous experiences lead up to that moment. For me, it's more about the emotional and um, almost spiritual feeling dancing than it is about the physical feeling. You can forget about sore toes and you know, pulled hamstrings or aching backs when you get out on stage and get to dance to beautiful music and do beautiful choreography and the, the real world disappears and the important things remain. Susanna is the closest thing to Balanchine we have and it's such an experience to be with her in the studio. Mr. Balanchine's choreography was all about the music. So our focus is often what is the music telling us to do? How is the music telling us to move? And we certainly can feel it on stage when um, the orchestra is getting ready. And I think that's my favorite moment before performance is hearing the sort of muffled sound of the, the orchestra tuning through the curtain because the curtain hasn't gone up yet. And that's, I still after all these years get butterflies in my stomach when they start tuning. And it, it really makes, uh, makes me very excited uh, to this day, every performance. So.